if you're a fan or a newcomer to the world of the supernatural mystery, then may I suggest you purchase the red bonnet. No, not this one. No, not this bright beacon of a bonnet. This will not take you to the mysterious world of the supernatural. No, this will only serve to, I don't know, keep your head dry in the middle of a squally Exmoor storm as you give away your location to the search and rescue helicopter. No, not this red bonnet. No, this one. This beautiful little novella by local playwright Patrick Bloss, The Red Bonnet. This is the one to locate. And I really enjoyed this book. And what we get are three distinct areas of dialogue. There's the angst-ridden teenager who has found a reason to engage with the world, with the drive and the passion to follow through with his curiosity. And this lightness of youth is in stark contrast in a reversal of roles with his grumpy, disengaged father, who is in a painful denial. Then we have the disinterested, under-resourced police inspector, who is lumped with the delightful, keen and a bit too clever police community support officer. This skilful interplay wraps beautifully into the mysterious, supernatural heart of the story. A sailor drawn by a red bonnet into the events that appear to be missing from future memory. And it is the red bonnet that binds these groups together as they each seek to understand or deny their connection to the skeleton in the basement. Mm. Family, mystery, history, a flash of the supernatural wand, and what you end up with in your hand is intriguing, clever, and at times rather humorous. A story that darts off down the odd dark alley with an ease of dialogue that we theatricals appreciate. So there it is, the red bonnet. And I have to say, this has got to be our bargain of the week. 3 99 Scroll up and down. Well, 3 99 plus a little bit for the postman. Let's not forget that. I mean, he doesn't deliver for free. He's not Santa Claus, is he? Although, don't they both wear red? Or didn't the postman used to wear red? And now he wears shorts. I don't know. I'm getting a bit distracted. Anyway, contact Pat and say that mad woman from the bookshelf sent you. Thank you.